Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve supplementary angles. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when thinking about solving for supplementary angles. So the first thing we need to remember is that supplementary angles are two angles whose sum adds up to 180 degrees. That means that the first angle, or the measure of angle 1, plus the second angle, or the measure of angle 2, those two angles added together will equal 180 degrees. Typically, these, that means that these two angles will add, will form a straight line. So if you can just imagine, I draw a straight line here. Let me just draw a little vector to bisect it. We have, let's say, angle one here and angle two here. These two angles together will equal 180 degrees, which is our straight line. Now the way to find the missing angle in a pair of supplementary angles is to use the equation 180 degrees minus x. Now, x in this case is going to be the angle that you know. So it's whatever angle you have. And after you subtract, that will be your answer. Then finally, you can check your work by adding the two angles together and making sure they add up to 180. So that step isn't necessarily needed, but it is helpful if you want to double check your work. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and jump down to our first practice problem on supplementary angles. So you can see we have a diagram here. This gives us two angles. We have 135 degrees and we have a missing angle, which is X. This is the angle we don't know. In order to find this angle, you're gonna take 180 degrees and you're going to subtract it by the angle that you know. So we know 135 degrees. Now, after you subtract, that measure is going to be your missing angle. And 180 degrees minus 135 degrees is 45 degrees. So our answer has to be 45 degrees because these two angles added together form a straight line, which we know has to be equal to 180 degrees. And then, like I said, for the third tip, if you want to double check your work, you can say, all right, 135 degrees plus 45 degrees is going to add up to 180 degrees. So I know that this is correct. So it has to be the right answer. Moving on to the second practice problem. This time we have 45 degrees and the angle we don't know is here, it's X. So we're gonna say 180 minus the angle we do know. So we know 45 this time. So we're gonna say 180 minus 45 degrees. When you subtract those two, you will end up with 135 degrees. So that means this X here has to be 135 degrees. And again, if you want to double check, you can say we're going to do 45 plus 135. Those two added together will equal 180. So we know 135 is the correct answer. Jumping down to our final practice problem on supplementary angles, this one gives us 121 degrees that we know, and then another angle that we don't know. We know they form a straight line, and a straight line adds up to 180 degrees, so we know the two angles together have to be 180. So we're going to say 180 minus the angle we know, which is 121. And when you subtract those two, you will get 59 degrees. So now we know this is going to be equal to 59 degrees. And if you want to double check, like I said, you can say 121 plus 59 equals 180 degrees. So we know 59 has to be correct. And if you want to try our interactive practice quiz, go ahead and click in the top right part of your video and you can take some quick practice problems that'll give you a grade and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.